Okay, so I wanted to talk about oxidative stress really quick because this is a main mechanism of damage in the body. So when you get inflammation and there's good inflammation, there's bad inflammation. Good inflammation is, hey, if I break my arm, I want to tell my immune cells, hey guys, come over here. This, this, this arm, it, it's broken. You know, we need to heal. We need to repair. Bring the collagen. Bring the healing molecules. Uh, bring more blood flow. You know, that's, that's a good inflammation. And that's acute inflammation, but too much inflammation causes problems. So our immune system makes these things called ROSs or reactive oxygen species. And that's mainly to destroy invaders, or if there's tissue that needs to be replaced, repaired, or turned over, we make them. Reactive oxygen species are basically bleach. That's a, that's a reactive oxygen species. You can think about it like bleach. Our bodies actually do make bleach. Uh, to kill invaders. It's one of the ways that we do it. Now there are others. And so what happens is when the immune system is chronically activated, you get a lot of these reactive oxygen species and they damage tissues. So one study actually showed that sarcoidosis patients have 75% the antioxidant capacity as people without the disease. What does that mean? Well, if reactive oxygen species cause oxidative stress, what do antioxidants do? They prevent oxidative stress. And I thought this was a pretty cool little picture here um, that I definitely borrowed, but I thought it was a cool little picture. And this is a healthy atom. Atoms are the, the building blocks of our cells, right? We're taking it back to uh, high school chemistry here. So, you know, I hope you liked your high school chemistry teacher. I obviously did, but this is a healthy atom. So these are electrons here on the ends of the atom. So electrons um, are, are part of the atom and they all of us, all atoms have different electrons depending on what they are. So free radicals, these reactive oxygen species, what they do is their bar is not full. Their circles are not full. So what happens? They're not full, so they get angry. So they go and grab free electrons from proteins and, and DNA and other molecules. Well, that's bad because now all of a sudden that DNA is damaged, that protein is damaged, that fat is now oxidized and that can lead to health issues. So what do antioxidants do? Antioxidants say, hey man, I got plenty of extra electrons. You know, I can take that stress here. Why don't you have some of mine so you can be happy and not cause any issues? You know. And so that is what antioxidants do. They prevent oxidative stress and damage. So here's another visualization of oxidative stress. So if you leave an apple or a banana out and it starts to turn brown, it's oxidizing. That's oxidative stress. And what's happening is that fruit is now, you, it's, its antioxidants are being used up. And so that's why they change colors. And that's also why I don't recommend we eat the lunchbox fruits because they oxidize so quickly. They're not that high in antioxidants. I recommend berries and citrus fruits. All right. And so a, a raspberry and leave it on the counter for days and it doesn't change colors. You cut an apple or cut it open, leave it on the counter for days. It doesn't change colors. Still good. You cut an apple open and, and let, let it sit there and watch how quickly it turns brown. Same thing with bananas. And so at the bottom, you look at these cells. So we talk about a normal cell here, it looks nice and healthy and, and egg shaped. And all of a sudden it's being attacked by free radicals. And now that cell is damaged. It's cell at the outside is damaged. It doesn't look as happy. And then that cell actually can get broken apart. Uh, if there's enough oxidative damage, you can tell the cell to, to uh, commit cell suicide. And we call that process apoptosis. That's how cells commit suicide if there's enough damage done. So this is a testing that I do in my clinic. We always talk about get more data. So if I want to look and see, hey, do you have high levels of oxidative stress? I'm going to test to see. And so what I'm looking at this test is this first thing, lipid peroxide peroxides, this is basically fat particles that have been oxidated, oxidized. So these are fat particles that have been attacked by free radicals. And this is what actually causes cardiovascular disease. It's not high cholesterol. It's inflammation plus oxidized fat. 
I just dropped a podcast on this actually. And so you can test this. I, you can test to see if you have high oxidative stress. So if you're in the red here on the lipid peroxides, you have high oxidative stress. This 8-OHDG is actually a, a part of our DNA. And so if that's in the yellow or red, that lets me know that, hey, the DNA is under a lot of stress. And not only that, I can go and look at our, how our bodies deal with this. So glutathione was the major cellular antioxidant. It's how our bodies developed a way to deal with oxidative stress, toxins, and it's, it's a really potent antioxidant. And then the rest of this just tells me, hey, how are different parts of this whole pathway doing? Doing okay? Are they not doing okay? How are the enzymes that are related to cleaning up those free radicals doing? The enzymes related to making glutathione doing? So this is what I'll measure if I think someone has a lot of oxidative stress or inflammation. This test gives me a lot more information than like an ESR or a CRP. Those are very nonspecific. And that can happen with uh, infection. And it can happen with inflammation. It can sometimes, depending on uh, the pathway and your own genetics, you can have high levels of inflammation and you're not going to show an ESR or a CRP elevation. But you're going to show in this. And so that's why I will do this test. This test is from a company called Genova. It's one of the main companies that as functional medicine providers use. And if you do want any of this testing, I highly recommend you find a functional medicine provider because they're going to try to figure out as much about your body as possible.